hi guys welcome to yet another tutorial in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how you can design your own temperature digital temperature meter using lm35 so without wasting much time let's dive into the design thank you hello guys welcome on board what we'll be doing today we're going to be talking about how to design a digital temperature meter using adreno so what we'll be needing for this project basically a few components one of them is the Arduino Uno second one is a 16x2 LCD display as you can see on my hands here is a variable resistor you can use from 10k upwards here is LM35 I know it's a bit small but don't worry put all the details on your schematics so you see better so basically this is how this LM35 looks just like a usual transistor it's a temperature sensor so without wasting much time let's just dive into doing the connections of our circuit for the circuit diagram you will see in the description below so right now we'll start first by mounting here is our, our display so i'm going to mount it right here So this is the display I've mounted as you can see. These are the pins, pin one to what? Pin system. So basically right now what we want to do is to dive into the connection. So here are the connecting wires or jumper wires as you can see. It's a part of the component we're needing for this, as you can see. So let's just do the connection right now. So this I'm gonna break into steps for you so you it will be easier for you to understand so for the step one what you have to do is to connect adreno ground to this display here now adreno ground has to be connected to pin one of this display pin five pin seven pin eight pin nine pin ten and pin sixteen here is pin one here is sixteen so without making any mistake let's connect pin one as you can see here this is pin one and here is pin one connect pin one now for this is going to ground let's just use let's use a longer one here for pin one So this goes to ground but basically right now we're not going to be connecting all of them to ground because we have few ports here in the Arduino to take ground since we are connecting a lot of pins to ground so now let me explain something to you so you can see on my breadboard here here you have the positive line now the negative line So, so like, like I, says, I said, this is the VCC line, this is the ground line. So we're going to maintain the negative line for all this. For the breadboard, if you don't understand how breadboard works, the vertical are connected together for this terminal, same here. Then here is connected horizontally. So right now, I'm just going to go back to using the short one. So let's start with pin 1. This is pin 1. Pin one is connected to ground. Pin two. This is not connected to ground. Like I said, pin one, pin five, pin seven, eight, nine, ten, and sixteen are connected to ground. So this is one. You can count so you don't make mistake. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth one. As you can see also connected to ground that is that now pin 7 is connected to ground as well now pin 8 ground as well pin 9 also connected to ground as you 
can see so pin 10 also connected to ground then pin 16 also connected to ground now the first step has been achieved by connecting pin 1 of Arduino pin 5, pin 7, pin 8, pin 9, pin 10 and pin 16 to LCD so all these pins are all connected to ground don't make mistake about it now the next step is to connect our VCC line which is our plus 5 volts so right now I'm just going to use the red connecting wires so for the VCC you have to connect pin 2 and pin 15 of this LCD to plus 5 volt so now this is pin 2 connected to plus VCC line which is the first one then pin 16 as you can see here it's connected to VCC line now step 2 is completed so step 3 what we need to do right now is to connect pin 5 of Arduino to pin 4 of the LCD so here right now we need the Arduino Andy so let's start the connection so let's go to pin 4 pin 4 of Arduino is connected to pin 5 rather pin 5 of Arduino is connected to pin 4 of the LCD so let's go to pin 5 for Arduino already connected now the next step is to connect pin 4 of Arduino to pin 6 so right now pin 6 we're connecting it to pin 4 of Arduino okay the next step is to connect our pin 5 of Arduino to pin 11 so sorry about that first first one here is to connect pin 3 of Arduino to pin 4 of LCD made a mistake there so right now we have to connect pin 5 of Arduino to pin, pin 4 of Arduino right now we connected to pin 6 of the LCD display so right now let's just start it all over so we don't get it all confused right now the VCC line and the negative line has been connected so now is to move straight to connecting the pin theory of Arduino so here you have pin 3 of Arduino connected to pin 4 of our LCD display next is to connect pin 5 of Arduino pin 4 rather of Arduino to our pin 6 of the LCD display I've already done that so next is to connect pin 5 of Arduino to pin 11 of LCD display as you can see this is pin 11 if you are not familiar with the pin you can always scan them to be very sure of what you're doing so right now the next thing is to connect pin 6 of Arduino to pin 12 of LCD good so the next thing we need to do right now is to connect pin 7 of Arduino to pin 13 of LCD display so 
next is to connect pin 8 of Arduino to pin 14 of LCD display. Sorry, pin 13 rather. Connect pin 8. So, so guys, last step here is to connect pin 8 to pin 14 of LCD display, which is in terms of the LCD connection basics. So, right now we have pins already configured now we have one more thing to do which is connecting our pin theory to a variable resistor so right now we have to connect pin theory of our lcd to a variable resistor so for the resistor this is the variable resistor the pin 3 terminal is going to come in through this first knob here and then let's just mount this first properly now place it through the first knob now these two terminals two legs of the resistor has to be connected together so from there to go straight to ground so let's connect it to ground it has been connected to ground so basically at this point the first step of connecting the lcd to your adreno is completed now what we need to connect right now is this sensor which is lm35 used for the temperature sensing so i'm going to place the lm35 at this point here now if you place it like this which i'm going to explain on screen for you once it is facing this way pin one this is pin one middle one is pin two third one is pin theory so i'm going to place it just the way I'm holding it. First, let's open these legs a little. So, great. Now it's been fixed. As you can see, this is it. So, Right now, what we need to do to do the connection. So, at this point in time, we have to connect the first leg, which is the pin one of this to Arduino VCC, which is the plus five volt. So, we'll connect the first one, plus five volt. Second one has to be connected to an analog input of A0 this is A0 on the Arduino board A0 here so the last one which is the list is connecting the pin theory to ground so pin theory has been connected to ground so at this point, our connection is totally complete for this project. So let's just pull this, place it behind in case of the sensing. So connection is completed now. At this point, we have to connect Arduino to PC and configure it using the code which will be seen on the description of this video. So, see you on the screen while we write the code and upload to Arduino. So now, 
I'm practically con connecting Arduino here. Connecting it to my PC. So, as you can see, Arduino has been connected and active. So what we need to do right now is to connect our code to Arduino by uploading it. So guys, here we are on the screen. This is Arduino ID environment. These are the codes that will be running our program for us. First of all, let me explain the first line. This first line here is including the liquid crystal library into this in order for this screen to be recognized. Se secondly, is to declare the LCD pins. Now, from here, you see that the LCD pins are declared as three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which exactly we have on our connection already. So these are basically out to display the figures as it is using the BCD code binary but you don't need to go through this right now you can take your time to understand this if you want to know about binary but basically this is the code which we need we need to get our program running so at this point what I need to do is check if our Arduino is fully installed as you can see Arduino you know is installed it's on port com theory so at this point we can upload our program into our Arduino so right now sorry about that since there's an error here So guys, right now this is bringing a row, as you can see, if I try to upload it, it's flagging this error which is exactly this characters here, which is a mistake on my part, so I will have to re-upload it again, as you can see, this cache has already been uploaded, so right now let's see our project, see how it works. So guys. Our code has been uploaded as you can see on your screen the system is working fine first line of the LCD display as you can see here it's reading temperature then the second one is reading the values this is the temperature sensor here so let me place my hands and see if that is going to influence the figures You can see the figures are varying and it's increasing 34 35 as you can see that is the current temperature of my body as you can see so it's 35 degree point 57 so this is basically how you can set up your own temperature sensor so i believe you've learned something from this if you like this video please like share and subscribe also hit the bell icon so that next time when i upload a video you'll be the first to know thanks for watching